Hello everybody, so today we're going to talk about local anesthetic calculations. These are common pimping questions for externs as well as interns and they really should be questions that you can answer as a dental student, a dentist, or a dental hygienist. The good news is, is these calculations are fairly straightforward um, and pretty easy to do and anyone can do them. So let's get started. So the first question here is, what is the maximum number of carpules of 2% lidocaine, 1 to 100,000 epinephrine that can be given to a 45 kilogram patient? So this is a fairly small individual. So let's unpack this uh, a little bit. So 1.8 cc's is usually around the volume of a dental carpule of anesthetic and that's why it's included here in parentheses. 2% lidocaine. Um, so what does the 2% mean? So 2% means that there are 20 milligrams of lidocaine in one milliliter. And so for us, because there's 1.8 milliliters in a carpule, if I times that, 1.8 times by 20, so your milliliters cancel out, I get 36 milligrams. So this is 36 milligrams of lidocaine in one carpule. So I'm just going to note that here. And then remember that this cartridge really contains two drugs. It contains lidocaine as well as epinephrine. So we have to calculate the maximum dose of epinephrine per carpules as well as lidocaine. And then the one with the lowest number is going to be your limiting factor. What does one to 100,000 mean? So this means there's one gram of epinephrine for every 100,000 milliliters. As you can see by the common charts that I've included here, the units are in milligrams. So grams are not that useful to me. So I'm just gonna rewrite this as 1,000 milligrams in 100,000 milliliters. So then if you cancel out the zeros, you get one over 100, which is equal to 0 0.01, and then your units are milligrams per milliliter. Again, because our carpule has a given amount of 1.8, if I times that by 1.8 milliliters, I will get 0 0.018 milligrams of epinephrine in one carpule. So let's start our calculation. So like I said, there are two drugs involved here. So lidocaine, we'll do first. I just Googled a chart of maximum doses of anesthetics with epinephrine aside from the mepivacaine um, because these numbers are going to differ if your lidocaine does not have epinephrine so just be careful. Um, so for our lidocaine that has epinephrine the max dose is 7 milligrams per kilogram. So our patient is 45 kilograms. That's what we know. And at the end of our equation we want the number of carpules, right? So I'm just going to write this here. So now it's a matter of plugging in the terms so that the units cancel out. So I need to get from kilograms to carpules. And from what I see here on my sheet, this right here gets rid of the kilograms, right? So I will put that here times by seven milligrams per kilogram. That way I can get rid of the kilograms. Now I'm left with milligrams and I need to get from milligrams to carpules. Luckily I calculated this already during my explanation of what 2% means, right? 36 milligrams of carpule. So then I will write it in a way that the milligrams cancel out here. So then I take 45 times by seven divided by 36, and that's about 8.75 carpules. And this is the max dose of lidocaine that this tiny patient can get. So now I have to look at the epinephrine. Okay, so for epinephrine, the weight of the patient as an adult doesn't really matter. So what really matters is if they have cardiovascular compromise, which this patient presumably does not have. So I'm just gonna focus on the 0.2. So essentially 0.2 milligrams is their maximum dose. And here, when I went through one to 100,000 and what that all means, we got to 0.018 milligrams of carpule. So I just need to essentially divide by that number here. So one carpule is 0.018 milligrams. So then 0.2 divided by 0.018 is about 11 carpules. 
So now we look at these two numbers, which one is smaller, and it's this one right here. So therefore lidocaine is the limiting factor for this patient. And so the maximum number of carpules that this patient can get is just slightly over eight and a half carpules. All right, so moving on to question two, what is the maximum number of carpules and milliliters of 3% mepivacaine that a 70 kilogram patient can get? Just the reason that this is in here is sometimes you don't have dental carpules of anesthetic that are divided into these 1.8 milliliter increments. Sometimes you get like a vial of anesthetic from the nurse or in the OR or whatever, and it's just 3% mepivacaine. And so you need to know how many cc's to draw up of that mepivacaine that will equal the max dose. And it's actually really straightforward, guys. You can do this. Um, so let's start out here, again, kind of decoding this information here. So what does 3% mean? It means 30 milligrams of mepivacaine in one milliliter solution. When we have a carpule, if you times that by the 1.8, which is in here, you get your milliliters cancel out and 30 times 1.8 is 54. So this is the number of milligrams um, of mepivacaine in a carpule. So I'm gonna just put per carpule. Mepivacaine is nice, it doesn't have epinephrine, so we don't have to worry about that factor here. All right, so let's just do our carpule calculation just like we did in question one. Um, so we start out with a 70 kilogram patient. This patient's a little bigger than our first one. And then we go to the max dose, because again, we're looking for carpules in the end. We need to get the kilograms out of here, right? Um, so my pivacaine is 6.6 .6 milligrams per kilogram. So again, 6.6 .6 milligrams per one kilogram to get the kilograms to cancel out. And then I need the milligrams to cancel out. So we're left with carpules and we calculated that right here, 54 milligrams per carpule. So I'll put the 54 on the bottom so that it cancels out and then one carpule. So then 70 times by 6.6 .6 divided by 54 gives you about eight and a half carpules, okay? So now let's say you have a vial of mepivacaine and you need to draw up um, a few cc's, like what is the maximum number of um, mepivacaine that you can draw up. So if you have a syringe, so cc's or milliliters, right? Again, we start with the 70 kilogram patient. We times it by the 6.6 .6 milligrams per kilogram. And our answer, we're looking for cc's or milliliters, same thing, right? And so for the next variable here, so our kilograms cancel out, we have milligrams, we're looking for milliliters, and then it's really easy, it's right here, the 3% milligrams per milliliter, 30 per one. Um, so again, 30 goes on the bottom so that the milligrams cancel out, and then one milliliter here, or CC, same thing. So 70 times by 6.6 .6 divided by 30, is gonna give you approximately 15 cc's. Uh, so question number three is, uh, how many carpules 4% articane, one to 100,000 epinephrine can an 80 kilogram patient with ischemic heart disease get? So I will tell you that whenever you have an anesthetic with epinephrine and they have ischemic heart disease, the epinephrine is always gonna be the limiting factor, but we will calculate the max articane carpules in this um, question. So what does the 4% mean? So it means that there are 40 milligrams per milliliter. So when I times that by the 1.8 milliliters that is found in a dental car cartridge or carpule, um, that is gonna give me about 72 milligrams per carpule. So then we'll do the maximum of the septocaine or articaine, um, and we do, this person is 80 kilograms, times by, it's the same as lidocaine as far as max dose, so it's seven milligrams per kilogram, kilograms cancel out, and then we will put in one carpule is 72 milligrams milligrams cancel out, we're left with carpules. So 80 times by seven divided by 72 is about 7.7 .7, um, carpules. So for epinephrine, again, one to 100,000, if we remind ourselves this is one gram, which is equal to 1,000 milligrams per 100,000 
little leaders. We cancel out our zeros. So one over 100 is equal to 0.01. That's milligrams per milliliter times by 1.8 milliliters that are found in a dental carpule. That's 0.018 milligrams. And then because they're cardiovascular compromised, we take 0.04 milligrams divided by 0.018 and we get about two carpules. All right, I hope you guys found this useful. Leave some comments down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can.